one of the twelve who was called Judas Iscariot went to the chief priests and said what are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you they paid him 30 pieces of silver and from that time on he looked for an opportunity to hand him over the gospel of Matthew chapter 26 verses 14 to 16 in this passage of the gospel it seems clear that Judas betrayal was motivated by his desire for money Judas definitely had some level of faith in our Lord or he wouldn't have become his disciple at all. But even if Judas did have some level of faith, his desire for money appeared to overshadow that faith that he had. One of the central lessons we can learn from Judas is that the desire for money is a powerful incentive for the decisions that we make in our life. One of the powerful attachments that many people struggle with is the attachment to money. Recall that once Judas had betrayed our Lord and Jesus was arrested, Judas deeply regretted what he had done. The desire Judas had for money clouded his thinking and he sinned it to him what sin always does. As soon as he committed the sin of betrayal, Judas saw the consequences of that sin, that choice that he made. And that consequence grieved him deeply. He learned that choosing sin ends with an empty promise. He realized that 30 pieces of silver was not worth the value of his soul. But of course, even then Judas could have repented and received the mercy of God. But he didn't. He simply ended his life in ultimate despair. Let us reflect today. What is it in my life that I desire more than our Lord? What temptation clouds my thinking and leads me to choices that I know will end in emptiness and despair? Let us strive to eradicate every disordered desire within us this day and choose wisely the will of God instead. Let us not continue to believe the lies that keep us from making Jesus and his holy will the one and only focus of our life. Let us pray. My Divine Lord, you and you alone must become the focus of my life. You and you alone are the greatest value in life. Help me to shed all earthly desires in life 
so that i will not fall into the temptations that lead to empty promises so that i will embrace the true and fulfilling promises that come from you jesus my loving lord i trust in you amen